BPE stands for boosted innovation, optimized product value, and efficient engineering. Listen to Roland Berger partner Oliver Knapp on product value management. Mr. Knapp, what is product value management and how can the concept be implemented? Yes, um, as you know, value management is a philosophy that companies use to steer the company towards value creation. Essentially what we did is we transferred that concept on physical products and we called it product value management or in short PVM. Typically companies focus on optimizing an individual function like procurement, focusing normally on cost. And PVM shifts that perspective, so from functions and cost to products and value. So essentially product value management enables companies to create products that the customers really want. That is a product with certain functions and features at a price that customers are willing to pay at minimum cost. How does this work in daily business? PVM is applied typically or mainly in the product development process. It's important to note it's not another process or just a tool. It's essentially a philosophy that is deployed and applied in the product development process and goes along the entire product life cycle to maximize product profitability along the entire life cycle. Can you explain this in more detail? Yeah, essentially, PVM follows a four-step logic that shifts between the customer and the company focus. It all starts with the customer, so that is truly understanding customer preferences. What is it that the customer really wants? Then it shifts the perspective to the company, looks at the main cost drivers, and looks at alternative solutions. So here's an iteration. And then going back to the customer to make sure with that whatever has been developed really meets the four uh, initially identified customer requirements. The four-step approach is enabled by a method toolbox, which is normally tailored to an industry or even an individual company to enable that PVM is applied both efficiently and effectively in the given company. In your view, what are the main success factors of PVM? Clearly, first and foremost, it's the customer. Understanding the customer requirements. Then what, uh, what we saw in our experience, what is really critical, is that translation from customer requirements to technical specifications, that engineering really knows what product to develop, with what features, with what functions. It is also critical that you apply the right methods for that given company at the right time. So when in the product development process can you create the most impact in the right sequence so that they are mutually reinforcing, that you apply it in a truly cross-functional team and that you apply them in a stringent manner as they are designed. Are there any other factors? Yes, there are a few more. Um, one actually is that you take the time to challenge the common beliefs, that you challenge the basic solutions and that you leverage for that both the input from the various functions from within the company as well tap the sources from the suppliers, which are usually having great ideas both towards cost as well as towards uh, innovation. It's also critical that you track the financial impact through the entire process, that you see deviations early enough to, uh, to act upon that, that you then anchor the whole PVM philosophy in the company, so in the organization setup, in the processes, that you align the KPI so that everyone is actually pushing in the very same direction, and change management is critical because that shift of perspective really is a change management challenge and that in the end is the make or break decision. So all in all from our, from our experience PVM product value management is a very powerful methodology, a very powerful philosophy that brings together really what belongs together. That is happy customers and maximum product profitability.